Hey friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to make a simple application that is a hello world of Docker. So to make this application, you can see that I'm currently present in the uh, Docker repository. So this is my own repository that I created by the name of Docker. And after that, what I will do, I will uh, just clone this repository and I will create a uh, application in it. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do, as you can see here, that uh, this is the code. So I will click on this and I will just uh, copy this uh, uh, HTTPS link. And after copying it, what I will do, I will go to the files and inside these files, you can see that these are some of the projects that I have created. So I will create another project and uh, first of all, I will write, uh, make, write, uh, open this terminal. And after that, let's write git clone. Once I do, let's paste the link that I copied. So now you can see that the repository has been cloned here. So let's close this. And now you can see that this is the docker repository all right so let's uh, open this in the uh, visual studio code all right so now you can see that this uh, code is present here so uh, all the all the files that are relevant to this repository is present so what i will do i will create a directory by the name of what you can say hello world like this and inside this directory what i will do i will create a file main.go file and uh, after that i will write you know, what you can say uh, docker file uh, docker file and the next thing that i'm going to do is to uh, just open the terminal but before working on this uh, terminal side uh, let me just uh, write uh, in the main.go file package main and let's write a function that will be a simple function that will be called print statement hello world all right so hello world so this is simple uh, uh, function inside this uh, here is a uh, print statement hello world so now what i will do i will just uh, pu push this application uh, inside the docker hub all right so uh, i will show you that what is the docker hub but before working on this let's open the docker file so inside this i will uh, write some kind of scripts that will basically help the main.go file to be pushed there all right so let's write um, from uh, what you can say golang uh, latest all right so this will basically take the golang latest image from the docker hub and after that uh, the next thing that i'm going to write is to write label all right so the label could be anything if you want to so i'm going to write description And the description is the like uh, this is the uh, hello world uh, docker hello world application hello world application all right so this is simple application so next thing basically the uh, label is a metadata of the docker image that uh, that will not be a part of the docker instead it will just show that uh, the label of the docker that if you want to give the description of the uh, image or if you want to give the version of the image or if you want to give the maintainer name so i have just given the description of it all right so you can write anything you want like the description maintainer name or the version of the docker image that you want to so the next thing is let's say uh, what you can say uh, working directory working directory so it would be like uh, app so this will be the working directory that will be present in the uh, docker image and inside this working directory all these files that are present in the hello world will be transferred here in the app directory all right so after that let's write copy so to copy all these files like the uh, main.go file and all the other uh, files that let's say if I create it, all of them will be copied here uh, from this local uh, directory to the app directory. All right. All of them. The next thing is to write run. So let's write run and uh, run is basically write go build o main. So this will create a build image uh, executable file for the main.go file all right so when this uh, main.go file will be executed this will not be executed as this main.go file instead it will be uh, executed as the main file that will be built from this main.go file all right so if i run this command in the terminal also let's op uh, show it to you if i run this command uh, before running this command let's write hello world 
all right inside this if i write hello this command you can see that uh, it is requiring first of all the go mode in it so i will write go mode in it so this is also the requirement of the docker uh, image to be uh, uh, this file to be created so i have forgotten about this so you need to create this file in order to create a docker image so let's create this now after that let's run, uh, write the command here now you can see that this is the main image that is created but it is not not opening here but basically it will help us to uh, transfer the data from the main image not from the hello uh, main.go file all right so this is the point that i was talking about so let's delete this and the go mode or go.mod file is will be present the same because i'm not going to delete it it will be used when i will push the data from the local uh, directory to the docker hub all right so after that let's write now what you can say um, working directory run and the next thing is expose so expose will basically 8080 so based on this port number the container image will be exposed all right so it will be shown to us so the next thing is to write uh, cmd main so basically what it does it will uh, when the docker image when the docker container will start it it will uh, run this execute uh, it will run this file all right so as you can see that this is the file main uh, main file that i created earlier by using this command so when the container will be started this main file will be executed all right using the command uh, interface command line in, uh, interface all right so let's save it and save this one also and now let's go to the command prompt so now the first thing that i'm going to do is to write docker build and then the target so the target would be i bilal k and then the uh, application name that i'm going to transfer there so i will give any application name like this one hello world hello world so uh, let's go to the docker uh, docker hub where is the docker hub yeah this one as you can see that this is the docker hub that is currently empty so if you want to you can make an account in it so this is the ibilalk username and after that uh, inside this ibilalk i have given the uh, this build image that i'm going to create it all right so this is the thing that you need to keep in mind and after that if i press enter on this you will see that it is giving me an error that one argument uh, basically it is requiring an argument so let's write what you can say docker build mm, docker build t sorry about that i have to write the same command with the dot also all right so let's write like this so now it will build an image by using this file you can see here that i wrote here all right so let's wait for it you can see that now this is the successfully tagged i bilal key this is the hello world after that let's write uh, docker login so it will basically log into the docker hub account using the terminal so yeah you can see that now it is login succeeded after that if i write you know, log docker push and then the i bilal k and hello world so this is the image name that i am going to push so docker push i will okay this is the username of my docker hub account and this is the image name so let's press enter on this so now it will take some time in order to push the uh, this image so i will wait for it so let's wait so now you can see that it is successfully pushed so what i will do i will just clear it and after that let's after clearing it let's refresh this page of the docker hub my internet is a little bit slow so sorry about that so now you can see that i previously created this image so but now this image is created uh, a few seconds ago all right so if i open this you can see that this is the docker image that i just created and this is the latest go image uh, that i used uh, go version and after that this is the whole detail of it all right so if you want to push it you can use it by this command or if you want if you want to push a new tag to it uh, you can use this command or if you want to pull it let's say uh, this uh, hello world is already present and uh, let's say if i want to, uh, if somebody want to uh, 
pull this hello world into his local machine then how can you, he can do this so i will also show you so let's go to the previous directory instead of writing hello world i will write inst i will um, i will be present in the docker so let's go there and now after that let's say if i write git pull and insert to pull that directory what i will do i will write um, i bilal k hello world like this all right so now you can see that uh, it is showing that i bilal k hello world does not appear to be a uh, git repository so what i will do let's go back again and let's write sorry i need to write the docker instead of writing the git i will write the docker uh, uh, pull so it will pull the data inside my local repo uh, directory so um, i will k hello world like this so now it will pull that inside my local directory all right so let's wait for it now you can see that it is successfully pulled now how can i uh, how can i know so what i will do i will write ps and docker ps so you can see that the container is not present so if i show you but before working on this if i write let's write psa the container is not present so what i will do i will write docker run uh, docker run p p for the port so as you can see that this is the port so i will put 8080 8080 and after that the uh, d so d is the uh, command that will basically detach this application that i created from other terminals so let's say if the other term other part of the terminal let's say there are multiple terminals that are running like this one so it will not disturb those terminals instead it will uh, detach this application from running there all right so you can write like this uh, hello world all right so this will basically run this port 8080 on this uh, image that i am that i have given it in the detached mode so it will not disturb other terminals all right so let's press enter on this now you can see that this is the string that it is giving me and this is the container id that is belonging to this application all right so if i want to run this let's copy this and write docker logs you can see if i paste this container id you will see that this is the hello world that is shown to me all right so this is how you can take this container id and after that you can uh, print the hello world but let's say if i want to uh, write docker ps you can see that the container id is still not present because the problem is that the container id uh, exited so what do i mean by this if i write docker ps a again you can see that this is the container id so it is in a short format so this is the container id that i just created 42 seconds and basically this was exited 41 seconds ago so that's the reason that it is not showing it was not show, uh, showing when i executed this uh, docker ps so basically it execute uh, exited when i uh, when i just run it it showed me the hello world and then it uh, exited after that if i again run this command like uh, what you can say um, let's copy this and let's write docker hello logs and paste this you can see the hello world is printed now if i write it again you will see that now the container id is exited after that i have to run it again and it will show me the hello world so it is uh, when the hello world is printed yeah after that its work is done and now it will not be shown to me every time all right so yeah so this is the problem and after that let's say if i want to delete this container so how can i do this i can write docker rm and put the container id like this or let's say if there are multiple container uh, that are present so what i will do i will write docker container prune like this so it will delete all of the containers that are present all right so let's start yes so currently there is only one container so that's the reason that it has deleted if i show you you can see that inside this you can see that no container is present all right so this is how it will work now let's uh, work on the git statement so let's write git add but before working on this git add i will write docker uh, and now i'm present in the docker directory now what i will do i will write do uh, git add 
git commit uh, created a simple uh, docker hello world application or created a docker hello world application not a simple not that much simple for beginners right so let's write git push origin master main sorry because the branch name is main so let's go there uh, you can see if I refresh this you can see that now the hello world is now entered here let's check this you can see there is docker file main and all these things so yeah so after that let's go to the uh, what you can say this docker hub if i want to delete this you can uh, go to the settings and delete this repository mm, like hello world now this will be deleted all right so this will also be deleted if i want to like let's go to the settings our docker hello world let's delete this one also because i don't need it so now you can see that this is also going to be deleting so both of them are going to be deleted so yeah so i hope uh, you understood and like this video so if you liked it then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions then ask those questions in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer all of them so till then goodbye